Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Graves in the new jungle here in the preseason 11. First things first, you normally wanna make sure they don't cheese your camps. I know Teemo jungle looks troll, but Teemo jungle is actually pretty tough for uh, auto attack based junglers like Graves. You have to pick your fights smart. We will be clearing faster than him. Graves is still one of the best jungle champions here in preseason 11. Solid clears, really good 1v1s, good 2v2s, really solid invades. You mainly wanna pick him when you know you're gonna have mid prio and your team is an AD heavy. Here we have an AP champ. And uh, I think Galli will actually have mid prime. I know that sounds funny, but I think it's going to be hard for Oriana to push up. Oh, it looks like they're actually invading. What the hell? We can't start the red buff then. I didn't get my phase rush. Ooh. Alistar started headbutt. This is so weird. Looks like Soraka got the first blood. I still have my... Timo's using the... Nice. I'm... Okay, I'll just get my Raptors. That was really janky. So normally you want to start on your red and go straight into Raptors. But in this game, they decided they were going to invade. And uh, things got out of hand quite quickly for them. I don't actually recommend invading Graves. Since he can... He doesn't need a leash. Getting a leash, it... leash is nice since it speeds up your clear. But if worse comes to worse, if you don't get a leash on Graves, you're still fine. So normally you want to auto attack down and then E. So you refresh your auto. So it's normally just auto attack, E, auto, auto. You normally queue after your auto attack since you're reloading anyways. And uh, that way you're not wasting any animations. But you can cancel out your Q, W, and R animation with your E. You can cancel them all out that way. So yeah, we'll just be farming it up uh, here. We'll actually just full clear this into uh, the scuttle crab. I should have actually kited it out to maintain onto my grit stacks. Your grit stacks is what gives you a bunch of armor. Pay attention to them right here. Even though Teemo is a uh, AP early game, every champion is doing a lot of AD because of their auto attacks. So it's going to help you out a lot, even if it's like an Evelyn or something. An auto attack, E reset, auto attack. Get it going on cooldown. Get it refreshing. Looks like Timo's actually bot side. He was right there, so I believe he just took his uh, blue buff, which is nice. I should be able to go to his red buff. I have five stacks of grit, and if you're paying attention, whenever you hit a monster, it actually refreshes it, or when every time you use your E, it refreshes and adds a stack. Those are main things you're gonna need to focus on when you're farming on graves. We've got the scuttle crab. My E is actually on cooldown for just like a second too long. Otherwise, we could have maintained at seven. Looks like Alistar is roaming mid. Uh, unfortunate for Galio, but ooh, Timo actually did start red buff. Timo started red and then literally ran all the way over here. I think we can actually kill this guy. Yeah, he's dead. That was really greedy of him. Your W doesn't do much damage, but it does a little bit. And it's got a lot of range. I'm going to go ahead and take his Raptors. I'm going to farm it over here so he can't get me from the bush. Yeah, you don't normally want to invade Graves. You normally just want to get a ward down to make sure he doesn't invade you on your red buff side. Graves loves invading red buffs. It's his most important buff. You can blast your Q into any structure to activate it early. I'm gonna go ahead and just reset here. Ah, ooh, Alistar's here. Ping that out. Hopefully Galio listens. It doesn't look like he is. He must have everyone muted, because he should have heard those. I'm gonna farm it from this side. If Timo comes over here, he's gonna come from this way. You wanna try to hit the monster behind the one that's closest to you. That way you hit them both. Hitting, just hitting the one in front of you is kind of bad because then you're not splashing with your passive in your jungle item. You want to try to splash as much as possible. I'll go ahead and just reset. I'll start still mid. I could gank this. Gonna hit him with ignite and auto attack. I did die, but I got the kill. If he turned on me, I actually could have killed him sooner and got my phase rush. That's actually really, really worth getting that kill. I could have gone the other way around, but I didn't expect Garen to go in for such a fat trade that early. On Graves, if they have bruisers and tanks, you're going to go Trinity Force. It's really strong. Uh, we'll also pick up a pair of boots here since we have the gold for it. I'll go invade Teemo's Wolf since he's top side. Oh, wow. Is Renekton going to get it? I was really, really close. It's just like 10 damage off. So I'm going to go invade the Wolves right now on Graves. It's mostly 1v1s, 2v2s, and invading and taking objectives. In general, Graves 5v5s are trash. 
and uh, he since his invades are so strong, whenever you see the enemy jungler on the other side of the map, that's normally when you start to push into their jungle. You see how I'm auto attacking everything? Everything gets pushed back. Everything gets my jungle item burn on it. And yeah, we're gonna go push over. Make sure you have your oracles uh, level one. Get you get your word down like I showed you, and then you get oracles that way you can uh, get out and gank. Graves is a good champion to first pick because there's not many Jones that just counter him straight up. He's a good champion to know. Looks like Timo's wolves are down, unfortunately, even though he was just topside. Uh, Scuttle's down. I could gank bot with the plant, but I don't see them. They might have back because they haven't bought in items yet. At least Ezreal hasn't. Uh, I can get this. Now, Gromp does do magic damage, so your grit's not going to help you much, but your passive's going to be pushing it away. A big mistake a lot of new Graves players do is they start on their blue buff, which is generally really bad because it takes away... Uh, that was a bad smite. I pulled it out too far, so I kind of had to, though. Starting on your blue buff, you basically can't gank anything. Without red buff on Graves early game, your ganks are terrible. You have to have red to gank, and you need at least level 2 before you gank on Graves as well. Uh... I know that sounds funny, but I, I guess the, what I should say is Graves, Graves has the option to gank level 2, unlike many junglers. Even though his level 3 ganks are better since he'll have a smoke screen, his level 2 ganks aren't bad as long as you have red buff. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just reset. Or we can just hop over the wall here and get our red buff. We'll just do that. So for there, since the dragon was almost dead, I should have just held, held on to my E so I could have gone over the wall. That would have been a lot better. Oh well. We'll take our red buff, we'll clear into our Krugs here, and then we'll get our blue. Now you should try to take the full Krug camp if you can, because the little ones give a lot of gold and XP now, to where if you're not taking them, you're really missing out. So unless you have to leave them, or if something big is happening, I'd recommend staying till the end. A lot of people have trouble ending games on Graves. I will say if you were playing him in ELOs lower than Diamond 4, it can be challenging because your teammates aren't really trying to end which can be tricky so if you are going to play graves lower than d4 you need to really focus on getting objective objectives for example i saw timo was top immediately take dragon in his camps so for example if i see timo bot or if we kill his mid or, or if i kill timo i'm gonna go get herald i'll show you keeping the grid stacks up here so to keep the grid stacks up you actually have to pull the camp out like this and then now I still have my grit stack and then I can E early to maintain it. That's how you keep it up in between the both sides of your jungle as you're doing the big crossover. It doesn't matter too much, honestly, but if you're going to be fighting them on Scuttle Crab, you, if you do it properly, you can have all eight grit stacks, which is really nice. That's why in general, you should avoid trying to fight Graves on Scuttle Crabs or at the very least click on him and then the upper left you can see how many grit stacks he has so right now i have five just really want to stress that to you guys because i know a lot of you beginner or new grave players don't understand the concept of grit with five grit stacks it's not six grit stacks i have 36 armor which is like two free cloth armors it's insane that's why graves is so good against physical damage champions still have my six still have six all right i barely kept him up by hitting the scuttle crab you really shouldn't try to take that from me. That's a mistake. He gets less gold and XP from the camps than I do. He's just going to watch me die. He's, he's, he's literally trying to let me die since I got the Scuttle Crab. That was so strange. In general, you want to give all monsters to your jungle if possible. Because they get literally more gold and XP from it than you do. In the literal sense since they have jungle item. I think he's still mad. He's just trying to take these when he's literally <laughs> he's literally burning minions to try to take the camp. That's just so crazy. Anyways, uh, yeah, so Trinity Force, if they have one or, or more tanks, in this case they have a tank and a tanky bruiser. So Trinity Force is just the way to go here. Normally you'll just rush down Sheen since it's cheap. If you can afford it, you can go straight for a Heartbound Axe. It's another really good option. We're going to be going for our... Uh, I will go Merc Treads this game. They have a lot of AP damage. With the Teemo, uh, Orianna, Alstar, they're all AP. Merc Treads will be good here, plus the Teemo Blind Dart. Uh, looks like we'll just farm into the Herald there. We could have rushed it down, realistically, since we have two people top and their support's dead. 
I was already over here though, already pathing this way before that happened though, so it's so whatever. We can take Carol and then go straight into Dragon, I think. Remember, walls and structures are your friend. You want to try to use them to activate your Q early. That way you can land both sides of the damage. The second side of your Q does like double the damage. It detonates, dealing way, way more. The first part only does half the damage of the second part. That's why it, the second part is just so important. That's where the girth is. That's why you're also max Q first, because it speeds up your clears and gives you a lot of bursts. Just remember, auto attack, E, auto attack. You normally Q once those are over. But if you're really trying to land, especially against a champion, you can just like auto attack EQ. But it's better once you've burned through your, your autos. But with that being said, since it is situational, just like landing it in general, you use it whichever way you know you can land on it. It's just normally EW or EQ. So I'll show you here in a second. Like that's a lot faster to EQ than it is to just raw do it on its own because you can cancel out a lot of the animation on the cube by doing it during your E animation. Looks like Timo's got blue buff. He's pushing towards dragon. I need to get this towards the back wall. Fighting near uh, walls is normally good for graves since you can go over them with your R or your E. I thought he was going to go in on me there. He didn't. He's going to die for it though. Got him. You normally don't R until the last second, especially since it pushes you backwards. You don't want to use it early, because then if they do dodge it, they're guaranteed getting away. So you want to make sure their pathing is determined, get them while they're by a wall, something like that. Timo's bot lane. They're going to lose Herald on this, which is huge. You want to lay Herald before the 14 minute mark. That's when the plates fall off. You really want to get those plates for the gold. It's really, really big. So we're going to be finishing this up, then we'll go lay it, and then we'll go... Oh man, I hit it in the back. <laughs> Herald can be kind of buggy sometimes. You can just hit it in the back and it doesn't care. Got the Herald, we'll go lay it mid. Herald only takes down two plates and a quarter. So we actually want to get this a little bit lower before we lay it. That way we can chunk it out, right? And only Q at the end, especially against minions and monsters. Since they can't dodge, there's really no reason to... E then Q. Hmm. That sucks. I really wish we played towards the Herald, but at the very least, we got the kill. We got the Oriar. I didn't realize Teemo was coming, but once I was already that deep, I was trying to get just a few autos on the turret and we would have broken it. Uh, a little unfortunate. At the very least, we traded one for one. All right, we're going to get our Merc Treads. Next up, you you have a few different options. Like, the Collector is pretty good. It's just a really strong lethality item. You also have crit items as options now. Against their team, I think I would actually just go for... Do I want... I You know, I could honestly just go Ma. Ma is good here since they're so AP heavy. But I could... Collector's good too since I'm fed. Either one's good here, honestly. I am fed, but not as fed as I would like to be. But I could have gotten away for this for sure. I just don't want to die because I'm going to build up more shutdown gold. And they're, since they're so AP heavy, like all their burst is magic damage. It's just not worth dying. Black Cleaver is still a really good option if you're behind or if they have two or more tanks. They only have a tank and a bruiser. Now, if your team is AD heavy, they're likely to stack armor, in which case going for early Black Cleaver is really good. Black Cleaver is definitely still a good item on Graves, just primarily versus tanky teams when they're stacking armor. Q there, messed up the animation, it's fine. Got the Dragon, sitting on two. One Graves auto scrapes the Scuttle, which is amazing. So strong. We have six great stacks right now. Now we're at seven. I had to E to, uh, it was about to fall off. They all fall off when it goes. Now we're at eight, which is uh, 96 armor. Hopefully someone comes tries to fight us. Ezreal or Garen preferably. 
You normally kite the monsters out into your next fight. That way you keep all your grit. Oh, I messed up my E. Holy shit. You can go over walls with Graves E quite easily. But I did slightly the fat part of the wall. Any skinny or thin wall you can go over. That was very unfortunate. We would have wrecked Oriana there with our phase rush. Now you may be saying, when do you go phase rush, when do you go fleet? You normally go phase rush a D4 or lower. It's always best. Fleet is mainly when their team's really tanky and you don't have a very strong front line. If you have a bad front line and the enemy team's tanky, you're going to need fleet to kite things out and just, just stay alive. Got him. Very nice. There's a bit of a kill still, but it's whatever. Realistically, Grace can do more with the gold than a Galio anyways. Galio's just more for the CC. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's push down the turrets. This is a, what you want on Graves, just controlling their early game. Even though our camps are up right now, that's okay. We have several kills. We have the opportunity to EW there. I'm going to hit her with an R. Could have probably just ignited her. As you guys saw there, that animation was really fast. EW, EQ is all really, really fast, especially if you've... If you have to reload like this, then it's really fast. It's even faster when you're out of ammo. Since, I don't know why, but it just is. I'll just use my W a little bit early there. Even if it's not the cleanest animation cancel, it's alright. We're not going to get him, that's very unlucky. Nice, I think Ori has R. I'm gonna start chugging my refills. Get some grit going here. And I think we might be able to end the game. I am happy I went for Maw. The collector's still really good, but I think Maw's better here since they're triple AP. I think we can just end it. Hit him with a W. Very nice. You normally don't use your W until people have committed. It's such a long cooldown that unless it's going to kill them, you don't use it since it's just... <sighs> kind of like an... Uh, just think of it like a strong CC until the enemies have committed to a play. Like until they've actually engaged or until they're actually trying to run away. That type of thing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Graves Jungle Guide. If you want to see all the items, runes, builds, check out my Grave, Graves Mobile Fire Guide. But if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.